Okay, welcome back to part two of my Japanese Super Famicom Odyssey. And these are the next two games. So if you missed part one, I had a, a large box full of Super Famicom games and doing gameplays of them all would just take too long. So what I'm doing is just breaking these up into smaller videos and doing some gameplays of games that I've never played before. So they'll be just short videos on my first impressions. Right, so the two in this case are Super Bomberman 4 and, can you guess, Super Bomberman 5, which was quite a late game, I think, it, yeah, 1997. Um, yeah, Bomberman's a series that I played a lot on the Mega Drive with Mega Bomberman, and I think that was Super Bomberman 3? I think which was the last one that came out in Europe. So I'm looking forward to playing these and seeing what happened to the series after Mega Bomberman came out. Right, let's start with Super Bomberman 4. And Bomberman 2, I think, was the one that was meant to be the best in the series, or at least as the most popular. 3 coming out in the UK and being the last one. And Mega Bomberman, I think, sitting somewhere in the middle between 3 and 4. So I'm not really sure what to expect from this. I know the big innovation for Mega Bomberman was the Kangaroos. Um, although that's really just a port of the PC Engine game. Um, so let's start. So 1996, Hudson Soft. So quite a late game. Okay. I think the the story, well, for what story there is, is that you're thrown back in time and it's like a, a prehistoric thing on this level. Oh, I'm blowing up, trying to blow up the stone wheels, not the not the rocks. Oh, oh no, that was stupid. That was really dumb. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Are they? Trying to work out if some of these rocks are randomised or whether they're always in the same position. Hmm. But yeah, I mean the the formula is the same. It looks similar to the Mega Drive one. Yeah. Oh, cool. You can ride them. Yeah. I mean, this looks like a you know a natural follow up to the Mega Drive game. Ah, uh, oh, that could be a problem. I can't put bombs on the stairs. Ah, coax him out. This this game's fantastic in, uh, well, this series rather is fantastic in multiplayer. I used to play this quite a lot at um, sixth form when I was at school. And some brought in a Mega Drive. This isn't going to work, is it? The AI is a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, right, get out of that one. That would have been really bad if I'd have just gone and walked in front of it. Okay, so I'm still on one bomb. And you don't appear to be able to jump. Uh, quite short blast distance. Yay! Yeah, this seems a lot simpler than than Mega Bomberman because you used to have to you used to have to get this. It was like a like a ramp, like a a platform in the middle and blow things up around it. Yeah, I think they've simplified it a bit. So I wasn't sure with these games whether they'd be over complex or whether it would be one of those, you know, back to basics kind of things. Oh, who's who's this guy? I don't know whether he's competing against me or whether he's meant to be helping. So I think the AI, you know, the kind of AI quality will make a big difference there. 
I don't know how you get that thing in the bottom left. Ah, oh, didn't work. Ah! Hmm. Oh, okay, he stood on the rock. Ah, he was stood on the rock. Didn't it? Oh, I've got to blow him up. Okay, so he is... I was going to say he is an enemy, but he didn't seem to blow up. It's kind of weird. Okay, let's get on to the third one. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear the music. I've got it turned down. It's similar to the the Mega Drive one, apart from this main tune, which is different. It almost seems cruel blowing up these dinosaurs. That's why they became extinct. So forget your your theories about asteroids or disease or other various things. You know, it's Bomberman. Ah, uh, oh, that was lucky. That's why the dinosaurs got wiped out. Yay! This might be a boss. Don't know. Ah, oh, okay. So no, no bosses. Right, so this is Bomberman 5, which is the last one in the original series on the Super Famicom. Actually, it's probably the last one on the 16-bit consoles. So yeah, nice introduction. Here we go. This looks very similar to the title screen from the last game. So I hope this isn't just a rehash of the last one. Okay. Single player. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed the big emphasis on the kangaroos. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, that's kind of cool that you can pick your map. Oh, I've gone back. That's stupid. Uh, 1-7. One five, one six, one two, one one, that's probably a good one to start on. The graphic style's very different. Hmm, this this is kind of odd. It, it feels a lot more like what at least what I've seen of the older PC engine. Bomberman games, and um, I think Super Bomberman 1 and 2. So they've dropped the theme of, you know, being in the past. Prehistoric. Yeah, so this is throwing out a lot more power-ups and things like that. Because the other one didn't seem to. Um, I, you know, I could ride on the dinosaurs, but that was about it. So maybe this is the back to basics one. It's kind of odd with a series like this, you know, how how do you keep making it better without making it gimmicky? Block it, man. It seems to play a lot faster. It seems a lot smoother in a way. Ah, okay, I think with this one you get to choose if it's this game, I think you get to choose different routes through the game. Yeah, so we're on 107 now. That's weird. Can you go? No, you can't go through. Oh, that's going to be distracting. Hmm. 
Does anyone know if these games are out on the Wii Virtual Console? Because I think I think one thing that's that's good is that <clears throat> there've been quite a few Super Famicom, you know, Japanese games that didn't make the way over to the West, and from the um, you know the Wii Virtual Console, you can play them now, which is great. That's going to be a tight one. Yeah, so really my kind of motivation for this Super Famicom Odyssey is really to try and find some hidden gems. So the I you know that I kind of mentioned in previous videos that the reason I play these old games is is not always from nostalgia. It's because I just like the style of games, and you you kind of get to the point where you you know you've played everything you want to from the the PAL territory. Ah, and you want something new, and I remember you know reading of lots of Japanese games in magazines that never made their way over here, and there are some which have become quite popular, and you know others that you know are still undiscovered. So maybe there's a language barrier, or just didn't get the exposure over here. I think with these games, the reason they didn't come out was because, you know, once you've already bought a couple of Bomberman games, are you really going to buy another one? You know, it's not. Well, it's almost like you know the FIFA games. I think the sport games you can get away with it, but other genres, not so much. Ah, the bombs. Ah, right, that's me done. Yeah, this is this seems to be a lot harder more like the classic Romans and gives you a lot more choice in the levels so yeah I'll leave it there I uh, don't know which one I prefer they're both a bit different which is a good thing